I walked out the front door of my house in January or February of that year, and uh, there was black ice. Mm. I didn't see it. I had just put on shoes. My shoes were warm from being inside the black ice. My feet go flying. But I caught myself. I felt my, you know, my, my, my trunk, my core tighten up. And I caught myself with one hand. If I hadn't done that, I would have hit my head. And I would have had the same problem that these other three people have. Welcome back to The Perfect Workout. I'm Jordan Thompson, and in today's client feature, I sit down with our client, John Abel, and we discuss how he was able to create more results in just six months of training with us at The Perfect Workout than when he was able to do in his previous six years at his other gym. So stick around for the full discussion to hear how he did it. Tell me what originally brought you in. What made you try The Perfect Workout? So uh, I had... Ten years ago, I started personal training, and uh, I spent six years with another national franchise, but not as well known as Perfect Workout, and uh, they were 45-minute sessions, uh, had a personal trainer in a designated area, much more focused on cardio than on uh, strength training, Mm -hmm. not really focused on strength training at all. It was pounded hard. You go there three days a week. 45 minute sessions, you were drenched. I was drenched in sweat when I came out of there. And it really didn't have any impact. I got, I, I was pre diabetic when I started, and I thought, well, I'll do this to try to hold my diabetes in check. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't get better. Um, I, I, I have atrial fibrillation, and so I'm, I'm, uh, it's pretty intense cardio when I'm doing cardio. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to lose weight, of course, as everyone does. I actually gained over six years, I gained 15 pounds or more. Um, I was hoping to get off some of the meds. Didn't, that didn't really happen. So at the end of six years, my contract was up. My wife was going there as well, and her contract was up. And a friend of ours was going there. And so we collectively decided we're going to change something here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a survey of all of the things in Northern Virginia, all the facilities for personal training, including personal trainers who might come to your house, personal trainers that might come in a truck and you work out in the truck, uh, personal trainers at big box, what I call big box sports clubs, that kind of thing. And while we're doing that, I received this flyer in the mail in the Washington Post that was about perfect workout. And we said, well, we got to try this. So we went there and I'll tell you, I was skeptical. I thought, you know, going from 45 minutes where they were pounding you really hard to 20 or 25 minutes where it was, I wouldn't say it was not strenuous, but it was not as strenuous as what I've been doing. And uh, I was skeptical. How can it be 20 or 25 minutes? How can, you know, 10 machines or so make a difference? This is going to be not intense enough for me. So I, uh, we went, we really liked it. I was expecting, well, I'll try it for two or three months. And if it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll move on to something else. I wasn't going to go back to the place I had been because it just, it wasn't working for me. I yeah. I, mean, I was working hard, but um, it wasn't working for me. I was on antidepressants. I mean, uh, and I felt really wrung out most of the time. I think partially because I wasn't having any recovery, really. I wasn't getting into the recovery. That's one of the best things about perfect workout is recovery. But anyway, we, we started going there. My wife and I started going there. He, got a new facility manager in Falls Church. She really took me to another level. So I got a lot stronger. And I also did a sort of test in the sense that I had a physical in May of 2019 before I started working out with her. I had another physical in December of 2019, Mm. mostly focused on blood, blood work. And my cholesterol went down. I usually was around 200 when I was working out before. My cholesterol went down to lower, I think 147, something like that. My A1C went down from, I think I was over 
so I think I was 6.8. I went down to 5.7. My, I got off, my doctor said, you know, I don't think you really need the antidepressant anymore. I got off the antidepressant. Uh, my blood pressure dropped by at least 20 points, you know, upper and lower numbers. Um, and I just felt much stronger, but it really made a big difference. And this is the thing that really put me over the top was the recovery. I really wasn't tuned into recovery. It, it mm. didn't really dawn on me. I thought you worked out and then you went away and then you worked out again, you know, two days later. I didn't really experience the recovery until I got in with perfect workout, especially in the last year and a half there, I think. And the importance of sleep, the importance of uh, eating right foods when you're not exercising, mm -hmm. the days that you're not exercising, uh, it really, that really has been a big difference. And I've also realized that calories burned while you're exercising, yeah, that's important. But that really isn't the most important. It's, it's, it's a nice feature. Yes, you would expect to be burning calories. But now I'm more in tune on my body so I can feel the burning of calories during the recovery phase. Even, even at night when you're sleeping, when I wake up in the morning, I can tell my body has been burning some fuel. I've lost the 15 pounds that I had gained over six years, I did lose that pretty quickly. I mean, it, it was it was somewhat amazing. And Even though you've been with us for a few years, you essentially, if we're just looking at May through December of last year, you saw more of an impact and more results in those six months than you did in the six years of doing what you were previously Oh, doing. yeah. Oh, yeah. And she has been so great about being in she sees me in ways that I don't see myself. This is one of the things I like about personal training in general. You can do training on your own, but if you don't have the, if you don't have the position down correctly, or you can not only hurt yourself, it's just not going to be as effective. Absolutely. And, and, and even somebody who is a certified trainer and d does know proper form and technique, it still makes a massive difference having somebody right there watching you, um, yeah, coaching you, and pushing you. Yeah, and pushing you, yeah. Yeah, yeah because it, you would tend to give up, I think, sooner than what the trainer will let you give up. The trainer actually knows, this is the other thing I think about a good trainer. I even said this to one time, Biffy. I said, you know, if a trainer says, well, you've got five more reps in you, like, I don't believe it. You know, it, <laughs> it's fiction. But if she says, I think you can do it one or two more times, she's probably right. Yeah. I hear that all the time is that my trainer has helped to push me in a good way to do more than I ever thought that I could do. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's, it, it is the perfect symbiotic relationship. I, you mentioned something when you were talking about before coming into the perfect workout that you, uh, you were pre-diabetic. Um, have you seen any changes or, or any well I've been able to stabilize it um, okay. I'm if I if I stop I mean the trick for type 2 diabetes of late onset you know I get this when I'm 65 or 68 something like that um, it's it's no magic it's diet and exercise <laughs> uh, and frankly the I'm not very good at the diet. I mean, I've gotten, I've had to get better. So the, the exercise has really been critical to maintaining. If, if I went off the exercise, almost certainly my A1C would jump up, even if I controlled my diet. The exercise or the perfect workout sessions keep me on track for the diet because well, I can't eat chocolate cake. I mean, maybe I can eat a little piece of chocolate cake sometime. But on the day I'm in recovery, I don't want to eat chocolate cake. It doesn't even sound good to me sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I want more protein or vegetables or something like that. Diet is probably more important overall than, than the exercise. But they, they sort of go together. 
you're not going to exercise a thousand calories off. But if you can get your body into burning, you can be burning calories when you're not even working out. It must have been a pretty big paradigm shift to go from from a workout program that was cardio based into strictly just strength training 20 minutes twice a week right. and making that shift to like, I'm, I'm not burning as many calories. Like what was going on in your head when you were making that shift? Well, um, I'm, I'm guessing that probably cardio is easier for someone to do in their forties and maybe, maybe more relevant for them when they're in their forties. But it's not the case when you get older, um, the cardio, it sounds like it would be important and you, and you, you have to be aware of cardio issues. But I mean, if anybody goes into the perfect workout and goes through, you know, 10 machines or so, they're going to have some cardio. If, the, if you live by the rules of say 15 seconds between each machine or something like that, you're going to have a cardio <laughs> exercise, whether you intend it or not, but it's different when you exhaust the muscle. Um, and in, in strength, in strength, and I think for for me, I'm 77 years old. To to be um, older, it really is important. Strength is a bit more important. In fact, I've had two two medical doctors tell me. One my my uh, primary care physician, a, a woman, who's told me it really is important that you um, that you do strength training. Uh, and I think virtually every, my cardiologist says, you know, it's probably more important, you know, walking is great, but uh, I used to run like when I was in my forties, but my knees were in the process of giving out. They couldn't mm -hmm. do that when you're yeah. 70, It's not sustainable. No, it's not sustainable. Yeah. So um, being able to do strength training. One of the other things as an elderly person, now, I guess I, I'm deathly afraid of falling. Mm. And because I've known, I think now three guys that I were business associates that fell and hit their head on something else. Like one guy fell and hit his head on a desk. One guy fell and hit his head on a step. And then they had strokes or they had something like a stroke. They had brain hemorrhage of some sort. And they were all, uh, became disabled, I mean, into wheelchairs and things like that. So I'm definitely afraid of that. And so I, about two and a half years after I was at Perfect Workout, I walked out the front door of my house in January or February of that year, and uh, there was black ice. Mm. I didn't see it. I had just put on shoes. My shoes were warm from being inside the black ice. My feet go flying. But I caught myself. I felt my, you know, my 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 trunk, my core tighten up, and I caught myself with one hand. If I hadn't done that, I would have hit my head, and I would have had the same problem that these other three people have. Mm -hmm. So it's the ability to catch yourself, not just let gravity take hold and bang your head. And I caught myself with one arm, basically sat down. I was scared. <laughs> but I didn't hit my head. And yeah. so I, that's another reason why I think strength training is really important. You know, being aware of your core. I mean, I see a lot of people my age, they can't stand up out of a chair. Mm -hmm. They can't get up and out of a chair um, without holding onto the chair or having someone help them up. I don't want to be that. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that person. Yeah. So you had mentioned earlier uh, a, a lot of changes in, in your numbers in terms of, um, you know, your blood pressure went down, your A1C levels. Have your doctors said anything about the progress that you've made? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, from that six-month time period last year, and um, I can remember what she said. She said, well, whatever you're doing, <laughs> continue doing it. She was pretty stunned by, in fact, she continues to monitor blood pressure because maybe my blood pressure should be, mid should be reduced a little bit because um, I get sometimes pretty low blood pressure now. I mean, not, not dangerously low, but I get much lower than what I've ever had. Yeah, and in, my cardiologist um, 
again, he says the same thing. So let's talk about virtual training. You mentioned you and Biffy have been working together virtually. Well, again, I was skeptical. Uh, <laughs> so far, and after the first week, after about the first two sessions, I've gotten into it. You know, it's easy. There's no commute. Uh, <laughs> you're right there in your house. Um, I don't really uh, need any more equipment. I'm, I'm good. And I, I now think, you know, if, it, if this happens to turn into six more months of this or whatever, mm. I'm good. It's, it's a good idea. So it, it, it works a lot better than I thought it was. And it's way better than doing nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially right now when it's so crucial to maintain as much of the strength and, and healthy habits right. that we've created so that that doesn't go down the drain. So when you, you can return, whether that's in a week or six months, you're not starting from scratch. I'm a happy customer. I'm a very happy customer. And I misjudged at the outset, you know, I'm being skeptical that taking your muscle to failure or to success, um, it matters. Mm 